That, isn't that typical of Mr. Depp? He doesn't take responsibility for anything, so not, now he's going to blame his lawyer. But the evidence is very clear on all three statements, and we'll show them to you in a minute, that he says Adam Waldman, Mr. Depp's attorney, says these things. Now, Mr. Depp says, oh, I didn't even know about those until the counterclaim. Well, we know that's not true because Mr. Waldman's testimony was two months before those statements were made. In February of 2020, Mr. Depp accompanied Mr. Waldman to the Daily Mail, the same place that all three of these statements were published, and he gave him two spliced audio tapes to try to make it look like Amber was the person who was committing the abuse. He went with him. He knew that Mr. Waldman was doing this. He knew that Mr. Waldman was launching a campaign against Amber to try to discredit her. And the timing of this, we're talking, the statements now are April and June of 2020. The trial is July of 2020. So they're launching an attack to try to discredit Amber before the trial in the UK. That's what happened here. And that is Mr. Waldman, but it's Mr. Depp. The judge gave you three different instructions, and you'll all have them. He's acting as his attorney. He has the authority. So Mr. Depp is standing in the shoes of Mr. Waldman. Mr. Waldman is standing in the shoes of Mr. Depp. Elaine's closing argument wasn't an argument, but more of an explanation to cover Amber Heard's lies. Stop. <laughs> agree with our picks. Check out this other recent clip from LMT Infinite Channel. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.